Welcome to Mary Queen Catholic Church. We gather as a community to celebrate the Mass of the Lord's Supper. We would like to welcome any visitors joining us this evening. Please take this time to silence your cell phones and electronic devices. The readings can be found at number 1040, that's 1040. Please join us in singing our processional song, which can be found at number 596. Praise to you, O Christ our Savior, number 596. Please stand.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your we begin the Paschal Triduum tonight, the three-day remembrance of the Passion, Crucifixion, and Resurrection of the Lord. Tonight, we hear him give his disciples a model for their mission, dropping to his knees to wash their dirty feet. May his lesson be a model for, all, for us all, as well as we proclaim the suffering, death, and rising of our Lord through our service to our neighbor. The priests in the Archdiocese celebrated with Cardinal Daniel DiNardo the Christmas Mass past Tuesday. During this celebration, the Cardinal consecrated sacred chrism and blessed the other oils and distributed to every parish. For it is with the sacred chrism consecrated by the bishop that the newly baptized are anointed and those to be confirmed are signed. It is with the oil of catechumens that catechumens are prepared and disposed for baptism. And it is with the oil of the sick that those who are ill are comforted in their infirmity. These holy oils are presented and received in our celebration tonight. The oil of the sick. of the sick has been blessed by our bishop for the healing of body, mind, and soul. May the sick who are anointed with it experience the compassion of Christ and his saving love. The oil of the catechumens. Catechumens has been blessed by our bishop for the anointing of those preparing for baptism. Through this anointing, may they be strengthened by Christ to resist the power of Satan and reject evil in, in all its forms as they prepare for the saving waters of baptism. Bless you. Bless you. The sacred chrism. Chrism, a mixture of olive oil and perfume, has been consecrated by our bishop. It will be used to anoint infants after baptism, those who are to be confirmed, bishops and priests at their ordination, and altars and churches at the time of their dedication. May they experience the gracious gift of the Holy Spirit as they prepare for the saving waters of baptism. Blessed 
Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who have called us to participate in this most sacred supper, in which your only begotten Son, when about to hand himself over to death, entrusted to the church a sacrifice new for all eternity, the banquet of his love, grant we pray that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever.
A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, this month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it at the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, on the 10th of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring one and shall share in the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be a year old male and without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the 14th day of this month, and then with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorposts and the lintel of every house in which they partake of the lamb. That same night they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. This is, our, this is how you are to eat it, with your loins girt, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand. You shall eat like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For on the same night I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt, I the Lord. But the blood will mark the houses where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generations shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, this is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, also the cup after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, what I am doing you do not understand now, 
but you will understand later. Peter said to him, you will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and head as well. Jesus said to him, Whoever has bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet and put his garments back on and reclined at table again, he said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My favorite phrase on Holy Thursday is this. On the night he was betrayed. Every time we celebrate the Eucharist, we use these words. Every time we approach that moment when Christ comes to us in bread and wine, we begin by reminding ourselves that Christ did this on the night he was betrayed. Matthew, Mark, and Luke are careful to recount to us the ritual details of what Jesus did on the night he was betrayed. They tell us of bread and wine, of blessing and breaking, of giving thanks and sharing. But John, in recounting for us the events on the night he was betrayed, tells us nothing of bread and wine. For instead of telling us what Jesus did, John tells us what it means. And so, on the night he was betrayed, Jesus was aware of everything. He knew that the end was near. He knew that not only Judas, but also Peter and Andrew, James and Matthew would betray him. They all would abandon him. They would, by their actions, deny him. Jesus knew this was the hour. This was the time the work of redemption would happen. And Jesus would approach this hour with a heaviness of heart that he had never known before. And at that moment, when most of us would abandon ourselves to anger and despair, when most of us would, do, would be so unforgiving for the hurt and betrayal that was at hand, Jesus did the unthinkable. He bent down and assuming the duty of the lowest of the slaves, he washed the feet of his disciples. He poured out the water not only of service, but also of 
forgiveness. He cleansed and kissed their feet with the love of God that is so profound that it cuts through all our pettiness, all our prejudice, all our anger, all our hurts, and all our resentments. On this Holy Thursday, we are called to do two very simple acts. We are called to kneel before Christ in prayerful reverence of the Eucharist, and then to kneel before Christ in humble service to our sisters and our brothers. On the night he was betrayed is tonight. It is tonight Jesus gave us the gifts of the Eucharist and the gifts of priesthood. Tonight begins our journey of faith. But it is Christ who marks the journey. Our journey begins in prayerful reverence before Christ, but must continue in service of one another. Saint Peter says to Jesus, you're not going to wash my feet. Jesus says, if I cannot wash your feet, you can have nothing to do with me. Why would he say something like that? He was saying, if you do not let me wash your feet, you will never understand who I am. You will never understand why I came. You will never understand your own destiny. It is for this I must wash your feet here and now. And then he says out loud, if you do not let me wash your feet, you have nothing to do with me. It is in washing each other's feet that God's love cleanses our world of hatred and prejudice, of fear and resentment, of a coldness of heart that knows not the profound love that God showered on us. This night, he was betrayed. So tonight, we have that opportunity to wash one, one another's feet, if you wish. First, Father Trey and I will wash the feet of 12 people chosen from different ministries, symbolizing the 12 apostles. Then I would like to invite you to go to the stations right in front. There are eight various stations in front where you will find water and towels prepared. You may invite a member of your family or a person of your choice, and you are welcome to wash one another's feet as a sign of your love for God and love for one another. Thank you for your participation tonight. While we will all remain in silence, prayer, and meditation.
those who have been asked to be washed their feet, please come forward, take your seats.
this moment anyone who wish to come forward take your seats bring your companion if you would like to wash the feet of anyone
Please stand for the prayers of the faithful. Like the bread and wine that we will offer in the Eucharist, we now offer our prayers and petitions, trusting that God looks with favor on our heartfelt offerings. That priest be strengthened by the Holy Spirit to serve God's people in holiness, love, and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That nations throughout the earth renew their commitment to peace and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who seek the Easter sacraments during these holiest of days embrace the cost of discipleship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are nourished at this Eucharistic feast remember the hungry and the homeless. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the memories of loved ones who have died lighten the sorrow of those who mourn their passing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray at this Mass for the intentions of all of our Mary Queen parishioners and for all the prayers that are gathered here and via our live stream that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Ever faithful God, your Son gave us a model to follow when he gave us his body and blood to nourish us, to sustain us, and to save us. Hear our prayers as we celebrate this holy meal through your Son, who is our Passover and our Lord forever and ever. Amen. Our song for the preparation and of the gifts is found at number 504, Prepare a Room for Me, number 504.
and from my dear brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever, whenever the memorial of the sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all those who are holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves, and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and praying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day on which our Lord Jesus Christ was handed over for our sake and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clementus, Clement, Sextus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. 
Therefore, oh Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you as we observe the day on which our Lord Jesus Christ handed on the mysteries of his body and blood for his disciples to celebrate. Order our days in your peace and command that we may be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer for our salvation and the salvation of all, that is today, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. And with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his heavenly Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our faith, father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice as partless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel, cheer altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, 
may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with a sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who through sinners hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, honored as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power of the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us turn and offer one another a sign of Christ's peace.
behold the lamb of god behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word my soul shall be healed song for communion can be found at number 696 ubicari toss number 696 
Our song of meditation is number 945, I am the bread of life. Number 945 I am a bread of life. 
Let us pray. Grant Almighty God that just as we are renewed by the supper of your Son in this present age, so we may enjoy his banquet for all eternity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We will have the uh, procession now with the Blessed Sacrament, bringing it to the chapel. We'll go through the center aisle to the left and into the chapel for adoration, which will last until 12 midnight. Tomorrow, Good Friday, we have the Passion, the, the um, Stations of the Cross at 3 o'clock, then followed by the uh, Divine ch uh, Chaplet that will be in the chapel. And then at 7 p.m., we will have the, uh, the service, communion service and the veneration of the cross. And also, please know that there will be um, novena to the uh, Divine Mercy that will start tomorrow through the next Sunday when we celebrate Divine Mercy Sunday Feast. Thank you.